in this video I'm gonna do the get add product so that's gonna be here so this is gonna say add product and the route is gonna be dash product so in here I'm gonna pass the title and the description and the price and the view is gonna be a dash product and I'm gonna pass here the description as well and the price but I also need to be able to select a category when adding a product so I'm gonna wrap this inside of a category find so I'm gonna say here category and find and have a callback here cats in there and the semicolon and just get this inside of this and format a bit so here I'm also gonna say that categories is equal to cats or I'm gonna call this categories as well and the comma here okay and in the view I'm gonna copy the set page view and rename it to edit product add product that is so now in here this is gonna say add a product I'm just gonna copy that word this is gonna link to slash products and back to all products this is gonna say format post action slash admin slash product slash add product and I also need to pass in here the ink type because I want to be able to upload an image as well so multi part form data like so so this is where that uh, file upload package comes in because as I said body parser doesn't handle multi part so in here I'm gonna have this title that's fine and it's echoing out or printing out this title here as well so that's fine and I also want to have a description so I'm gonna get this cut it and paste it here and I'm gonna get rid of this TA ID I don't need an ID and this is gonna say description with the capital D so name is gonna be desk and calls rows is fine placeholder description as well and it's gonna print that description variable or property to be more precise and this log is gonna be the price so price and the name price as well and this the value is gonna be price and the placeholder is gonna say price as well and I also need the categories here so I'm gonna copy this div and paste it here so I'm gonna say here category and this is gonna be a select so select name is gonna be category and ID I don't need but I do need a class so I'm gonna turn this into a class of form control and now in here I'm gonna loop through all the categories I have so I'm gonna use a snippet I have like so so this is gonna say categories and I'm just gonna say cat in here so for each cat I'm gonna have an option here with the value of cat slug this is supposed to be cat and it's gonna say inside of the option cat title so that should do it for the select and I'm missing the image so I'm gonna copy this price and paste it here and this is gonna say image 
and the input type is gonna be file and the name is gonna be image and I'm gonna get rid of this value so it has a class of form control that's fine and I also want to give it an ID because I want to have an image preview so I'm gonna call it IMG just IMG actually is fine for the ID and I also need now to actually have an image tag here for the preview so source is gonna be just a hash and I'm gonna give it an ID of IMG preview like so and that looks good so if I go to add a new product here here it is and I get fruits and t-shirts here so that's fine let me just inspect this so option values are slugs and it's displaying the actual category name so it's all good I just want to style this image a bit so it's not like this and also add that image preview now even though I'm not gonna do the post back in this video but I want to add a preview so let's see I have this uh, style CSS in here so here I'm gonna say IMG preview and just give it a margin of 20 on all sides and I'll see how that looks when I actually have the preview so I need to include this actually because I don't have it included in the header now I believe yes yeah, so here I'm gonna this is supposed to be a link so href is gonna be slash css slash style dot css so let's see now if this moves a bit let me just see if this is being included so network and css files here refresh and it's not oh i'm using the wrong um, header and the style here yeah this is supposed to be in admin style but i don't need the style for the front end so anyway so let's see now okay yeah now it works and also i want to add the images folder in here so i'm going to create the images folder and you have this course files zip which you can download in the last lecture so it's going to contain this images folder and the test pdf and also the finished project so the source so in here there are these product images and also this no image which i want to copy and paste in the images folder here so you get it in there somehow as well depending on your text editor id and i also want to create that product underscore images folder in here that's gonna hold the images for each product and this video is kind of dragging on so let me just do the preview as well of the image and be done with it so in add product down here i'm gonna have script tags and i'm gonna have a function here that's gonna be called read url like so and i'm gonna pass it the input and in here i'm gonna say if input files and input files zero here as the key in that case i'm gonna get a reader so var reader is gonna be equal to new file reader and i'm gonna say here reader on load is gonna be equal to function and pass e here for event and i'm gonna here get that image preview img and i'm gonna set its source to e dot target dot result and i'm also gonna give the image a width of 100 and a 
height of 100 as well. And lastly, I'm gonna say here reader, read as data URL like so, and pass the input file as zero here. So that should do it for the function. And now here I'm gonna say that image, which is the ID of this input file. So on change, change and have a callback here. So on change, I'm gonna say read URL and pass this. So that should do it hopefully. Let me just indent this a bit. So if I refresh this now, let me just check the console for some errors, which I do have. Oh, it's, I didn't say change here. Okay, now it's good. So I'm gonna go to this uh, source course files and images folder. So here I am in the course files. And if I go into the images folder and just choose an image and here is the preview. So that works and here's the name as well. So it's all good. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.